Welcome back friends. Uh, in this video we will be talking about uh, the reverse electron flow and uh, why we at all need this uh, reverse electron flow uh, inside uh, the photosystem of uh, purple bacteria. Now we have seen uh, the photosynthesis uh, mechanism or the light reaction of purple bacteria and what we have found, we have found uh, that uh, they are having the photosystem 870 now it is excited by the photon of light and it moves on to the excited state where it is denoted with star here now uh, the electron which is uh, getting uh, to the excited state is now being transferred through several rounds of electron transfer or electron carrier molecules and finally it will return to the uh, ground state again now this process is cyclic and uh, it is a uh, couple of uh, different types of uh, electron carrier molecule consuming process like cytochrome C2 uh, quinones which are mobile and also cytochrome BC1 and bacterial chlorophyll bacteriophyophytin and all these things are present there. Now for this purple bacteria there is an uh, H2S present there which is acting like the electron uh, donor or for, for the reaction so it is present at this upper level because it is totally reduced form of sulfur and in the bottom level we are having SO4 to minus now this is the totally reduced uh, totally oxidized or high oxidized or highest oxidized form of sulfur now what will happen we are seeing here it is transferring from one uh, Elect uh, one molecule to another uh, through this electron carrier molecules. Now what is going on here the reduction potential of quinone uh, if, if, now if we look at this very carefully that we have seen this uh, this process uh, de in detailed manner but why we at all need this reverse electron flow because we've seen reverse electron flow and what do we mean by this reverse electron flow actually reverse electron flow means the flow of electron is getting in the opposite direction normally what happens when the light get hit uh, to this 870 system photosystem it kick the electron to its higher energetic states which is favor which is not favorable but for for uh, putting uh, the electron to its higher energetic state we must give an input of energy so it's a very very logical and basic thing so the input of energy is coming from in this case from light quanta okay so no problem about that but the normal case now it, it needs uh, energy we need energy to go to the top of the staircases but we don't need that much uh, of energy to uh, to to come uh, to the bottom because it is just a thermodynamic process a thermodynamically favorable process to come uh, to the bottom which is uh, very very uh, logical but in this case electron normally flows from the higher energetic states to the lower energetic state without the input of any energy uh, and that this is a normal or general process but uh, what what is actually happening in after all this process we are losing the concentration of uh, in uh, we are losing the concentration of NADH because we are producing lots of NAD plus but we need the NADH now for for reducing this NAD plus which is an important part for this reaction uh, because NADH is the energy carrying molecule but NAD plus is not that thing so we need to produce this energy we need to trap this energy which is uh, which is being released from traveling from one electronegative state to the other another electronegative state as we can see in this case uh, so the reduction potential is getting uh, less as we are traveling here right so for this reduction potential getting down uh, we must Accure, we must store this energy, we must preserve some amount of energy as, as the form of NADH. For doing this, we must reduce NAD. Plus. Now, how can we reduce NAD? Plus? Simply by uh, taking the electron and attach it to the NAD plus to produce this NADH. But this electron transfer needs uh, the properly alignment of NAD. Plus. Now, the NAD plus is having its personal. Uh, uh, reduction potential as well as this quinones which are present is also having the particular redux reduction potential now as we know that here we can by looking at this picture what we can suggest it that the quinone pool which is present there the quinone pool which is having the electronegative uh, reduction potential is slight it is it is neutral it is not positive uh, neither uh, negative so it is Mm, it is neutral in value and uh, on the other hand NAD plus is having uh, the reduction potential value uh, 
slightly negative but what we know is that from our basic concept of, uh, of this reduction potential uh, and electron carrying capacity is that uh, those uh, molecules which are having the higher electronegative el reduction potential tends to lose the electron and those which are having uh, slightly higher positive uh, reduction potential can acquire those electrons and they will be reduced so this is the process but in this case what we are seeing that this nad plus present at the higher electron uh, potential uh, reduction potential uh, or nad plus is having the higher negative elect, uh, reduction potential and quinone pool is having the lower amount of reduction potential than nad plus that suggests us that this quinone pool cannot reduce nad plus cannot reduce nad plus on its own okay so it is the against it is against the law of thermodynamics it is not going to happen spontaneously for this reaction to be happened we must have the input of energy from other sources and the input of energy in this case uh, we can drive from uh, from the proton motive force that are being generated by this electron flows we have seen in the previous lectures okay so this is the basic thing the reduction potential of quinone here is about 0 volts which is insufficiently electronegative to reduce nad plus which is having uh, the reduction potential of minus 0.32 volt so it cannot uh, re uh, transfer the electron from quinone pool to nad plus directly okay so electrons from this quinone pool travels backwards against the thermodynamic gradient to equivalently reduce nad plus to nadh that is what is called the reverse electron flow so the electron flow is going to the opposite direction why to generate NADH to generate more energy producing or more energy storing molecule which are NADH from NAD plus okay so this is the basic thing which we have seen in case of this purple bacteria